Hey girlfriends, has your scalp ever felt like it's on literal fire? The itchiness, the flaking, the irritation of it all. Well, I have a solution for you. With just three ingredients, I'm gonna show you how you can combat dry, itchy, flaky scalp and even dandruff. So we're gonna start off with aloe vera. As you can see, I'm peeling this and then I'm going to scoop out the aloe vera gel and that is going to be our very first ingredient and if you've been on my channel for a while you know that i featured aloe before aloe is really good for your scalp and overall hair health but specifically we're going to be using this for our scalp and it's really good to calm irritated scalp if you've ever scratched your scalp so hard that you've left tiny lacerations on your scalp this is great for healing those wounds and nursing your scalp back to health Overall, aloe vera is a really good ingredient to use because not only is it affordable, but it's really good for um, resolving any scalp inflammation that you might have um, because it also has anti-inflammatory properties as well. So as you can see right here, I am blending up the aloe vera and I'm going to strain this. And the reason why I strain this is because I want to make sure there's no aloe vera um, gel left in my hair. Those little um, pulp that is left behind, I don't like um, when it gets stuck in my curls. Um, so we're just going to strain this. You could use a cheesecloth, you could use a strainer. I'm using pantyhose, also cheap and affordable. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to strain this and we just want to use the juice of this aloe vera. So as you can see, there is no pulp, and we're gonna move on to our second ingredient, which is neem powder. Now neem is a fantastic ingredient to work with when it comes to treating scalp issues especially, and in Ayurveda, it's used to treat dandruff, eczema, psoriasis, and it's really good because it has a lot of uh, minerals and vitamins and good fatty acids with antibacterial and antifungal properties. Then I'm also going to use cloves and cloves is really good for keeping your scalp clean. It also has anti-inflammatory and antifungal properties. So a great ingredient to pair with the neem as well to target those scalp issues. So once I'm done whisking, this is what it looks like. This is the consistency, nice and lump free and we're ready to apply this. Now, as you know, with all my treatments, I like to apply it on clean hair. So I did go ahead and wash my hair and let it air dry. I'm not applying it on damped hair. This is my hair fully dried and I'm just gonna apply this and then I'm going to massage it into my scalp for a few minutes. And you wanna continue doing this for a little while and make sure you're invigorating your scalp because that helps with your blood circulation as well which you know increases your hair growth so make sure you do all that good stuff in that order so yeah I'm just gonna put this on my hair and I'm gonna massage it in then I'm gonna let it sit on my hair um, for 30 minutes you can let it sit on your hair from anywhere from 20 minutes to a whole hour this is natural so you could definitely let it sit on your hair for as long as you want really but you know at minimum you can go up to an hour so yeah that's it guys uh don't forget to comment like and subscribe and share this video with your friends if you found it at all helpful or informative and i will see you in another one bye you grow girl